Hey there, Smite fans. Welcome to Dev Talk for Medusa. My name is Bart. This is Rory. And uh, we're going to be talking about the Gorgon, the latest addition to Smite currently in PTS, soon to be right. live. Uh, Medusa, a little bit of a unique design process, uh, as I understand it. Uh, take me through a little bit of how she got to where she is. So this is one of the last few characters that everyone really knows, right? Medusa is very popular in mythology. She shows up in a lot of movies and, sure. and, and media nowadays. And we really were excited to create this character and bring her into Smite. And obviously making her a hunter was a little bit different. She's known to use a bow occasionally, but really the strongest thing about her lore was the fact that she turned people to stone. Sure, so stone she wanted to, Yeah, we wanted to have a play on that. And obviously, if she had her face out the entire time, everyone would be turning to stone all the time. So we kind of pulled that mask on and really kept her with that beautiful face that she could have with the mask. But obviously, when she pulls it off, that, that other face really comes out there. Uh, but we wanted to tie in with the cool hunter aspects we like about hunter play style, the long range attacks, the, the skill shots that go with it. Sure. But play in a different light. And we tried to go more towards an assassin style kit while still staying with the hunter realm. So, I mean, assassin style kit kind of to me means maybe more of an early to mid game focus. Is that kind of consistent with what we're seeing in Medusa? That's right. Yeah, more ability focused, but still able to scale into late. She does have a, a short little steroid build into there with the number one. Those few shots that come out will be much faster. Uh, so, able to kind of front load a lot of her damage with her kit. So, I mean, uh, really the iconic thing, you already mentioned this already, is, is stone gaze or the That's ability right. to petrify your enemies. Um, tell me a little bit about Medusa's ultimate, which, which does, in fact, turn people to stone, and kind of some of the iteration process that we went through to get to where we are now. So we tried different options with that ultimate, you know, whether it stack up slowly, whether it would kind of like fill an area, but ultimately we decided that it should be much punchier, right? When you pop it and the mask is revealed instantly, a lot of times you see people, uh, you know, get turned to stone by Medusa. It happens almost instantly. It just fills up and they become stone. Sure. Uh, so she will start this process of pulling the mask off, and once it's finally off, you'll hear this loud, responsive sound where she just throws out this gaze, and anyone who is looking at her at that time will turn to stone or be stunned. And of course, if they're killed by the ultimate, they turn to a complete statue. Yeah, and those statues like stay in yep. the map, and uh, they, they take like what four hits to kill as four well. Hits. Um, so I, I mean. One thing I do want to also talk about with Medusa is her passive seems to be pretty unique for this role. The ability, it's kind of like a mini Fatalis, if you will. That's right. Um, the ability to move strafe and move backwards at an accelerated rate. How does this factor into the rest of her kit and being this kind of ability-based hunter? It really helps her line up her shots, especially that, you know, those first three shots that come out of the Viper shot are very important to the way she plays. She's able to line those up a little bit easier. And one thing we noticed right in the early development process for her was that the fact that she moves faster side to side and backward in comparison to other hunters is very jarring at first because you can't really tell where she's going to go and landing her shots is a little bit different and also plays in the fact that a giant tail comes out from her model you can see a little different play style there so it really helps stand out against other hunters. Uh, any just kind of final to wrap it up here any natural predators for Medusa? Uh, natural predators definitely uh, on her is a big one obviously line of sight put the pillar up on top she and those mm. those three shots that come out of the viper shot are very important to her damage output if you miss those it's huge so he can knock her back he can jump up in the air knock her up in the air and also put the obelisk in between him and her so she misses a couple shots and then he can just take it out good stuff well that does it for dev talk guys hope you enjoyed the insight into medusa for information on our gods past devs insights and all the other great stuff that we do check out the annotations on your screen 